Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, welcome back to the channel. I just kind of wanted to make a little video here quick about the factory parts that I've bought to add on to the X3. Um, not the aftermarket parts, but actually the BM, uh, the uh, Can-Am factory parts that I've bought and added on to the X3 since I bought it. Um, most, For the most part, the factory stuff has held up very well. Um, what I got when I bought it was the roof. The only thing that the roof hasn't taken a roll over anything, but it's taken a lot of trees in the top of it. The one thing that does happen to it, these little pins do fall out over time. So you might want to get some extra ones. Um, as far as rattling though, it doesn't rattle. It's a, it's a great little roof. Um, I don't, I've never had a steel roof, but I really like this one. Another thing is the rock sliders. I got this, these, when I bought it, put them on maybe after having it a week guys those things have taken a beating i mean an absolute beating they've slid across rocks hammered trees name it they've they've taken some abuse and they've held up really well i was really kind of concerned about this um as you can see it's dented pretty bad but um just by looking at it it still looks good the only thing i kind of was looking at other aftermarket ones that that come out more into the tire but really i've never had a problem with anything getting stuck in here um maybe on the wider models you would and you'd want something that comes out a little bit farther but they've held up amazingly uh another thing that's held up better than i thought i got one little crack here and that is it is these mud flares these mud flares have taken trees so damn hard around corners that i thought i ripped them off i was like well i just ripped off uh, fender flare and I'm gonna go have to put go find it but I look back there and there they are holding strong so um, what does rip loose here is actually right in here and this is actually the factory plastic that connects to this piece of plastic it'll rip all these holes out um, so it's really not ripping the fender flare off it's actually ripping the plastic off the factory plastic off um, another thing that I've gotten, I got a clear windshield. Obviously, it's not clear anymore. Um, I did just zip tie these. I lost one of the, the side brackets here. And after a few rides, I sprayed it down with, I don't remember what I sprayed it with, but it wasn't just soap and water. It was a cleaning detergent or something. And it took the film right off of it, scratched it like hell. It looked like shit. So I ended up painting it orange. And honestly, it, it looks pretty neat on there. I don't mind it orange, so it'll probably stay orange. If I had to do it ever again, uh, guys, I would probably go for the black tinted one. Um, when you're inside the cab, you see right over top of this. You're not looking through it in any way, shape, or form ever. So going the black tinted one would be perfectly fine. And honestly, I think it looked better. Uh, another factory thing I did buy was the, uh, the holder that I got. Um, works great without that I wouldn't it'd be a kind of a weird spot to put an iPad so my iPad fits in there great if you want to know what case I have it's a regular what is it 12 inch iPad works phenomenal in there so I use it all the time um, front bumper front bumper has not really taken a hard hit um, if if any at all um, the only thing I did lose a plug here but that's uh, the be expected um, the steel, the stainless steel piece that goes underneath is actually over here. I have it off because I run my, uh, snow plow there. So, and I have to fix my winch cable once again. So, um, another factory part that I have on here is the rear bumper. Now, as you can see, that rear bumper is probably three inches off center. We did smack a tree. I say we, Sandy did it. Uh, Sandy smacked a tree, probably guys, three miles an hour. And it did that. So not real impressed with this. Um, really the weak spot, it bent right here. The weak spot, there's just not enough holding it to the machine. And I'm sure Can-Am making aftermarket parts wants the bumper to give before the frame, which is understandable. But this is not thick material. You can get a lot thicker bumpers. You can get bumpers that actually connect down here into the frame and then come up here and connect into this tube. And they're built of a lot stronger material. 
Um, DMX is a bumper that I'm really considering. The only bad thing, it only connects down here and up on the top uh, roll bar. But it comes with a lot stiffer plate down here and with a, a hitch bracket on it. So that's really the only factory parts that I've put on here is pretty much the protective parts. Um, another thing that I did order, and it's here in the box, we're going to unbox it and put it on here quick, is an intrusion bar. I got a black intrusion bar from Can-Am. Um, the reason I went with Can-Am, they actually look pretty nice in there, and they're a little bit cheaper than all the rest. So I think um, I ended up getting that one for like 300 bucks shipped to my house. So um, we're going to put that in here. The reason I got it is when... I am going to Wisconsin and stuff or around here. I do a lot of riding on the roads, gravel roads and stuff. Um, up in Wisconsin, it's fast trails. And all I can think about when I'm going down the road is, what if I ever smacked a deer? Um, if I smacked a deer, I'm afraid that I, I would have a deer on my, in my lap. So really that's what I'm getting it for. It's not for protection during the rollover or anything to stiffen up the cage. It's mainly just to keep something off my lap if I happen to hit something. So we're going to get that in there, show you how it looks, and uh, we're going to call this video good. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I want to uh, thank everybody. I get a lot of comments, and I love talking to you guys. Um, so subscribe if you want. We're going to do another video, I think, on the Corvette. It's just the new C8's coming out, and I just kind of want to rant on the new Corvette coming out. I know a lot of you guys that are my subscribers are side-by-side -side guys, but there's just some American muscle talk that I'd like to talk about, get off my chest. So we'll do that video a little bit later. So let's get at this install. Well, here it is all done with the roof back on and the windshield or the quarter windshield on. We'll get in here and show you what it looks like inside. The nice thing about the Can-Am one um, is that it's pinched right here so you get more visibility. Other ones are not like that. Um, as you can see, that quarter windshield doesn't take up really anything. Um, the only thing I just don't know what looks better uh, the quarter windshield doesn't do doesn't stop wind it's more just for looks so you guys keep in the right in the comments what you think what you think looks nicer um, got four bolts down here with lock washers two bolts down here and then two bolts underneath the roof I'll pull this off quick two bolts right here all T30 Allens. So, but you guys let me know what you guys think. If I should keep that windshield on or not. Again, it's just for looks. It doesn't do shit. And it's beat up and I painted it orange already, so. And I would, what really would look nice is that uh, tinted black, but they're like $180. And if it doesn't do nothing, it's just for looks. I'm not a guy to spend $180 on something that's for looks. So, what do you guys think? Um, again, if you guys do have a factory windshield and you know you're going to want it on here, I guess you could maybe notch this out and then you're going to have to zip tie it no matter what. But yeah, you got a little, little bit there. So, well, guys, there it is. There's a little rundown on the factory parts that I put on it, how they've held up. So uh, I just want to thank you guys for watching, for subscribing. And if you guys aren't subscribed, that's totally fine. You don't have to. I'm not going to sit here and beg like normal people do. So uh, enjoy your weekend. It's my it's Friday.
right now it's Thursday so one more day but there it is guys again thanks for watching